Friends, this is a routine almost unedited fecal emulsification. Let us see how this surgery goes. This is the main incision, 2.8 millimeter keratome has been used to make this incision. Now this is one side port incision on the left side of the main incision. I want to stain the anterior capsule of the cataractus lens with trypan blue dye. I have taken a 1 cc narrow bore syringe with air in front. Here is the air and then comes the dye. 0.06% trypan blue dye. The anterior capsule is stained and after a few seconds the dye is washed out. And now Viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. I have taken HPMC, that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. It has been used to fill up the anterior chamber. And now I'm going to incise the anterior capsule of the cataractus lens with this cystitum. It's a 26 gauge bent needle. Now I hold this capsular tag with the uterator forceps. <coughs> I go anticlockwise and I make this rexis. It's an almost circular rexis. Now hydro dissection is done. Here it is. Fluid is passed underneath the anticapsular rim. Hydro delineation is attempted, but it didn't happen. The nucleus is rotating, so I am not bothered about hydro delineation. Visco is again injected, and now is the time to enter into the eye with the FECO handpiece. This is Oatly Cataryx 3 FECO machine. This is called Easy Tip. The end of the tip is wider, shaft of the tip is narrower. Here it is. After one or two sculpts, I hold the nuclear mass with vacuum and I make this chop. This is the first chop and this is the second chop. And here I hold the nucleus and make another chop. And now I have already taken on nuclear fragment. The FECO power being used is 60 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. I come out while I emulsify the last fragment. Leakage from the side port stops, posterior capsule goes backward and there is no chance of catching the posterior capsule. Now I inject a little bit of viscoelastic substance and whatever little cortical matter is there is removed. This is a 23 gauge Simco cannula. I like this instrument instead of a coaxial irrigation aspiration device. Now here it is. There is only one side port and the side port is little larger. One point 2 or 1.3 millimeter and cortical cleanup is done and this is a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens being implanted under irrigation. When we implant under irrigation we save lot of time. We don't have to spend time to remove the viscoelastic substance. Whatever little viscoelastic substance is there in the lumen of the cartridge comes out very easily just by irrigation while dialing the lens. That's it. I go behind the eye well and irrigate that area. You can see the posterior capsule is very nicely. There is no cells on the posterior capsule. Little bit of moxifloxacin has been injected into the anterior chamber and there is only one side port in this case. It is hydrated. And that's it. I just have to form the anterior chamber very nicely and, and this is a view under higher magnification. I see if there is any cotton fiber, any particulate matter is left in the anterior chamber. I came and that's it. Form the anterior chamber and conclude the case. Hope this video will help you in your practice.